Hey guys, Pat1979 here. Uh, just ran a capacity test on the GoLabs R300 using a hairdryer on the fan only settings, which draws about, um, guys, which draws about 170 watts of power, 175 watts of power. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug my hairdryer, click. And I'm just gonna replug this little device. So this is a watt meter. So this is gonna tell us in kilowatts how many uh, we have. So I'm gonna plug in to the plug. So this is gonna give me the last setting that it had. So let me just plug this here. Here we go. So 250 kilowatts. So you take off the zero right there and that little dot. So that's 250 watt hours to 6%. So if I ran that test with a, um, guys, if I ran that test with my uh, air purifier and discharge it slower, I would have gone down to 2%. So I would have been a little bit closer to uh, that, uh, you know, 299 watt hours. So. Uh, that that 250 watt hours is good at a discharge rate of uh, 170 watts. So I still have 6% remaining, but the uh, protection stopped it on the AC inverter. And this is telling us the, the efficiency of the AC, um, the AC inverter. So uh, guys, this is pretty good efficiency on the AC inverter. If I ran it to a lower wattage uh, maybe like something like 30 40 watts uh, like a CPAP machine or something uh, or you know any other types of machine that uh, are running at a lower voltage I could have gone to maybe 260 270 uh, watt, uh, watt hours so just basically guys the kilowatt is that last dot so you just take off that and you get watt hours so just that and that's watt hours so the test ran for uh, one hour and 27 minutes uh, and that's the result that I'm getting. So uh, really good guys uh, on this. So the efficiency on the um, the AC inverter is pretty good as well. So like I said, guys, I could have get a little bit more. So the stated capacity on this is uh, 299 watt hours. And uh, with the AC inverter test, which has a conversion loss. So when you're converting uh, 12 volt or whatever voltage, up scaling it to 120 volts you're losing uh you're losing uh, energy with that conversion so i don't know if that that makes sense to you guys for some of you who are not knowledgeable about this but uh whenever you convert 12 volt to 120 there's going to be a percentage lost uh in that so uh you guys saw right there this is i just want to run a real uh, quick test real quick just because I just received this thing today and I just unplugged it, plugged it directly in the in the uh, GoLabs R300 and just uh, wanted to run a quick test for capacity. Uh, yesterday, I well, uh, today <laughs> in the morning, I finished charging this to 100% with the power delivery. Then I discharged this uh, using uh, this uh, little gadget right here to tell me uh, the consumption so and the the uh, wattage so the watt hours so um, that's a little meter you can buy this off Amazon this thing cost me 20 bucks uh, this thing is you know a generic uh, type of uh, uh, generic type of uh, you know what watt tester watt meter and this right here is the kuman but this this the, the name doesn't matter really because this is the all the same brand all the same types just different name on it you got riot ran you got mega power you got uh kuman it's all the same guys it's exactly all the same and it's just you know good little for the money might not be the most accurate one but it gave me a pretty good idea how much wattage i'm using so i would need to have another one of these from a little bit better brand like kilowatts just to see the difference and to see if they were uh, there would be a capacity difference between that but for just giving me a quick idea on the uh, efficiency of the 120 volts or 115 volts uh, AC inverter uh, 300 watts uh, this gives me a pretty good idea of the capacity inside and they stated that it's at 299 
with the loss of efficiency at 250 that tells me that it's a pretty good inverter especially if i ran a lower wattage uh, appliance it would have given me maybe 260 270 so uh it, it's pretty good guys so they have a pretty good ac inverter in there and the capacity is going to be uh, close to what they state so i still have something for 12 volt coming from banggood which will take me probably a couple of months or maybe like a, a month and a half two months coming from china so i did order a tester for the 12 volt so the 12 volt is going to give me better uh, capacity on this so the 250 watt hours that you see right now is uh, going to be higher if i use the 12 volt because i won't have the efficiency uh, the conversion loss that i'm i'm getting so uh, when they say it's 299 watt hour uh, i tend to agree with that uh, you know when i receive my other tester for the 12 volt port i am going to be able to run a more comprehensive test on the cap the true capacity of this thing uh, using a discharge uh, on the 12 volt because it's going to be more efficient and we're going we're gonna to see how much capacity it has so but yeah guys uh, let me know what you guys think uh, is this a good test do you want me to run the exact same test guys so recharging this to full and uh just showing guys how long it takes to uh charge uh, with uh discharge with something with a lower uh wattage maybe like my um my uh, air purifier which is about 30 to 40 watts uh that might be uh that might give me better results so maybe that's a test i'll run in the future guys but you know guys thumbs up for me buying new tools and doing some testing on the go labs r300 uh, i just want to do as much test and give you guys as much information on this product as you can but right now guys on amazon canada you can buy this for 399 minus they have right now a $120 coupon uh, that you can uh, use to purchase this. So it's uh, $400 minus $120. So $280 bucks, guys for this. It is a really, really good deal, guys. Really good deal. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.